And now parents in Petaluma have similar concerns. We are just learning that two mass students stormed a high school classroom and attacked another student. This was at Casa Grande High School on February 17th, and some students, parents and teachers have said they're really not happy with how the school handled that incident. So that is where we find Andrea Nakano live for us tonight with that story. Andrea? Yeah, two attackers wearing ski masks entered a classroom at this school to attack a student. And parents were furious that day. One, because they weren't notified of the incident until hours later. And two, because the school didn't initiate a lockdown. Well, parents have turned that outrage into action as they work with the district to find solutions to the violence. The more I thought about it, the, the more it made me angry and that there, there was a lack of response and also a lack of accountability. Jennifer Inden has a daughter that goes to Casa Grande High School. When she read this email from the school about the attack on a student by two mass suspects, she had questions. I can't be the only one that is really angry about this. Like we have to, as parents, we have to advocate and uh, advocate for better procedures, better safety measures, better training, better support for faculty and students and administration all the way around. From that Since then, Inden has been active on social media, speaking out at public meetings and attending this roundtable discussion to address safety in schools. Stories stay, lessons leave. So what you hear here stays here, but the lessons leave with you. Maite Turi is the assistant superintendent of Petaluma City Schools. She feels it's critical to partner with the community to find solutions. We really want to engage with our community and hear what they have to say and hear what what kind of solutions they might have. I mean, we can't we don't have all the answers. With the rash of school violence from the South Bay to Santa Rosa, it's not just an issue in one particular community. While there are many factors to consider, Assistant Superintendent Ituri says the pandemic impacted kids in so many ways. Students really need that kind of that structure and that the socialization and that I mean it's not it's the ABCs but it's also learning to be with one another and learning how to interact and I think a lot of kids have missed that and we're seeing the consequences of that. The solutions are expected to be just as complex as the root of the problem but parents are demanding the school district to implement safety measures and to have trained staff on campuses to handle these issues. Inden though knows parents will have to do their part as well. It's going to take all of us. It is not one organization or entity or person's responsibility. It's all of our responsibilities and we have to work together to come out on the other side. The suspects actually ended up being students of the school and they were later, later taken into custody. Now the district says it will take all the information that they gathered from this meeting tonight and then follow up with parents about the next step. Sarah. So Andrea, I'm a mom. I know you're a mom mm -hmm. and you've actually covered a lot of these stories for us over the last couple of weeks. Has this resonated with you? Yeah, I just talking to the parents, it just seems like, you know, we as parents, we worry about our kids every time they step out the door. So this is nothing new. But when they come to school, we expect them to be safe and that that element is changing and it's a little bit of a frightening reality for parents. Yeah, well said. I would fully Sarah. wholeheartedly agree with that. Andrea, thank you for all of your reporting. We appreciate it.